Are you looking to create more great content for LinkedIn articles, blogs, or your website? In this video, we'll show you how to get ChatGPT to copy your exact writing style. Watch this video and we'll show you how. So the first thing you'll need is original content that you have written yourself. That could be an article, that could be an essay, it could be a report, some kind of business report you've written previously, but it has to be yours. And in this case, more words is better. So I would recommend starting with at least 500 words, but the more content you have written previously in your own style, obviously the better ChatGPT is going to analyze and provide a writing style for that content. So what I'm doing in this example is I've headed over to some previous LinkedIn articles I wrote a couple of years ago. These are 500 plus words. The good thing about these is I wrote these before AI, uh, certainly things like ChatGPT was even a thing. So it's very much my own work. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste the content of these articles into three separate Word documents. I have three articles. They're gonna go into three Word documents and it's those Word documents that I'm gonna use with ChatGPT. Now you see that I like to use references to popular culture in my articles. In this one here about project management, I use a reference to the A-team who didn't love the A-team. So I want to make sure that any articles ChatGPT creates uses the same kind of writing style. It uses the same kind of popular references when he creates articles. And I'll come back to this later. So here are my three articles saved as Word documents. I'm now going to drag and drop those into the prompt window and add my instructions. So ChatGPT needs to analyze the writing style in the attached documents, along with the way the grammar is utilized throughout the content. Then explain the common themes as though you're explaining to someone how to use the same writing style in their own work. Let's see what ChatGPT has to say about this. So immediately it's going away, it's looking at the content in those documents and coming back with the writing style and approach to grammar used across all of them. So it summarizes the style and grammar first of all, and then it will go on to create the specific instructions required to create new content with the same style being used. And here we go. So here are the specific instructions we need at the end. So let's take a look at what the ChatGPT output has done here. So it has identified that I like to start with an engaging hook, and that's absolutely right. I like to tell a story, a personal story, at the beginning of my articles. It focuses here on the logical structure of the articles and the fact that the article is somehow providing value, it's transferring information and experience. So what we're going to do now is we're going to simply copy and paste the output. In fact, I don't need it all, I just want this piece here. So we're going to copy this and we're going to paste that into a notepad document. I want to reuse that in the next chat I'm about to create. So let's go ahead and create a new chat. Now this time I want ChatGPT to create a brand new article for me. So if I take a prompt that I wrote earlier and paste it into the window here. So we're going to ask ChatGPT to write an article suitable for a LinkedIn audience on how companies can create awareness around artificial intelligence and identify suitable use cases. The article should be no less than 500 words and use a writing style below to create the output. So I'm going to press shift and enter and enter and then I'm going to take the output from the previous chat window and paste it in here. So this is the writing style I want to use. Now let's see what ChatGPT comes back with. So I can see here it's starting to put the article together, but there's one thing missing from this. It's missing the relatable story that I like to tell at the beginning of my articles. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go back and just tweak slightly the output that ChatGPT originally gave me to make sure that it's following my style the way I intended. So the main thing that ChatGPT missed was that relatable story that I spoke about earlier. I mentioned the references to the A-team that I'd used in one of my articles. In another article, I used a reference to the popular TV show Power. So I want to make sure that it's including those when it tries this again. So I've added a sentence highlighted here in yellow that says, use a relatable story or a familiar reference to draw in the reader. Ensure that story relates to popular culture, for example, 
it could relate to a popular TV series or a movie which the reader can resonate with. So let's try this amended prompt and see how we get on. Let's paste the prompt in and give this another try. Okay, so I can see straight away it's made a reference to The Matrix and then it weaves us into the rest of the text. Before coming up with content that is roughly similar to what it produced previously, but that's okay. It's made that reference at the beginning. What I might do to enhance this slightly is I might ask it to make references or make sure the text throughout the article relates back to the matrix, although it is using the matrix again in the conclusion there. So that is something that I'm happy with. That sounds much more like the kind of thing that I would write. So have a go yourselves. Try various examples of your own writing style. And when you get that writing style feedback, do tweak the prompt to make sure that it's replicating exactly the way you would write. Don't be afraid to experiment and let me know how you get on in the comments below.